Each restoration project challenges our understanding of how the object being restored fits into the history of aviation. What makes it unique? Why is it important? And finally, what should it look like? These are just some of the questions Carl Heinzel is grappling with as he supervises the restoration of a rare World War II German fighter. This is the wings for a Heinkel 219. The Heinkel 219 was a late war radar equipped German night fighter. Uh, this is the last surviving example of its type. It's a very unique, uh, very interesting airplane. Uh, what we're working on now is the wing section, the fuselage and the tail have already been done and are on display out at Hazy. Because of the outdoor storage conditions that it was in for many years, uh, all the paint is flaked off the top of the wing. What we've had to do is to find some of the components that still had traces of original paint on it and uh, develop a pattern for that. Given its wartime status, this aircraft was built quickly for immediate use. But as the last remaining example of a technologically sophisticated plane, it now represents the historical reality that the Third Reich had reached an advanced level of innovation and accomplishment. But their empire collapsed before they could utilize it. The restoration specialist at Garber struggled to recreate its appearance and innovations exactly as they existed in 1945. The Americans actually test flew this airplane, and when they did, they repainted it in this blue-gray paint. And so what we've done in a number of cases is, is sand through the paint that the Americans put over it to try and recover the original German paint and develop what their pattern was. Often, these efforts require calling on the special skills of other Smithsonian experts. I'm working with Dave, um, trying to figure out the paint comp composition. The same forensic skills used in restoring Renaissance paintings are being applied to determine the original colors of this plane. This attention to detail is important to the authentic restoration of these artifacts. Layers of plywood are re-glued, not replaced. Cables are spliced together using techniques of the period. And paint flakes are analyzed so that these restored aircraft accurately reflect the technology of their time. Once the work on the wing section is completed, the Heinkel 219 will be reassembled, and this early example of a radar-equipped night fighter will join the other rare and significant World War II planes on display at the Udvar-Hazy Center.